Here at West Virginia University's newly named Kennedy Creative Arts Center, we are proud to have numerous ensembles for students of all majors to participate in. Performing music of all genres, some of our offered ensembles include the WVU Symphony Orchestra, Wind Symphony, Symphonic Band, Chamber Singers, Big Band, and World Music Ensembles. All of these ensembles, as well as many others, are led by amazing directors uh, and provide an enriching musical experience at the collegiate level. However, there are other options available to students who are looking for a similar music experience, but on a smaller and more manageable scale. For students who love to make music with their friends, forming your own chamber music group is a worthwhile commitment for a positive musical experience. So what exactly do I mean by a chamber group? A chamber group is simply a group of three or more musicians who work together to rehearse and perform pieces of musical literature. These groups can be anything from a string quartet to a barbershop quartet, a brass trio, anything that you can think of. The Review School of Music offers students the chance to get together with their own group of musicians and gives you the opportunity to earn college credit by having fun making music. Forming a chamber group for credit is very simple. The first thing you need to do is find people who are interested in forming a chamber group with you. When I was a freshman horn student, my friend approached myself and two others that I knew if we would be interested in forming a horn quartet, and we are actually pictured right there. Not knowing much about chamber music or playing in a quartet of any kind, my curiosity invoked me into saying yes. So during the second semester of my freshman year of college, I performed in a horn quartet with three of my best friends. We were fortunate enough to have a close relationship with one another before deciding to put together this chamber group. However, if you don't already have this sort of deep friendship with people that you wish to form a chamber group with, that's okay. Branch out and find others who are interested because I guarantee you there will be others who are interested. After finding the musicians to be in your chamber group, the next thing you want to do is find a coach. Now, as with any class, you have to have an instructor to supervise your progress with the chamber group. This instructor or coach will normally meet with your group about once a week to hear you perform and provide instruction on how to progress and perform at a higher level. Similar to an individual lesson, your coach will provide feedback for individual players as well as the entire group during the provided time. In order to find a coach, all you have to do is ask any of your applied lessons instructors if they would be willing to coach your chamber group. Unless your professors have too much on their plate already or are currently meeting with a different chamber ensemble, nine times out of 10, they will say yes. After getting an instructor for the class, all you have to do is register and you are ready to make some music. Once your chamber group is ready to begin rehearsing, the next thing you need to do is find some repertoire and a time and place to rehearse. For finding repertoire, the best place to go to is your coach and or your applied lesson instructor. Most, if not all of the studio professors and lesson instructors here at WVU either were or are professional musicians and performers. They've been around the block and more than likely they are going to have access to the music that you can use with your group. And if they don't have what you're looking for, you can also look at online resources that have the scores that you're looking for, or you can try searching the WVU Library's website. You may not know this, but the lower level of the Evansdale Library is full of musical scores that you can use. I would suggest looking there because you never know what you might find. Finally, something that every chamber group needs is a place and time to rehearse. To do this, get together with your group in some way, whether it's over a group chat or in person, and compare schedules with one another to find a time and day that suits all of you. After finding a proper time to meet, speak with your instructor to reserve a classroom to rehearse in. The classroom may vary depending on what days and times are available, as well as the size of your ensemble. With all of this said, you are ready to begin making music with your new ensemble. I hope that what I've said today has encouraged you into looking into creating a chamber ensemble. It's truly an amazing experience to take part in between public performances and competitions or simply just making music with your friends. It gives you the chance to be a part of something you will never forget. Good luck with your chamber groups here at WVU and let's go Mountaineers.